Last time I built a concrete slab in preparation for building a lean-to. So now I just need to figure out how to build a lean-to. To make the construction go quicker, I went ahead and moved my modder saw out to a temporary station. This way I can cut all of my 2x4s relatively quickly. When I finish the entire lean-to, I will have a set of plans available on my website which states all of the dimensions that I use. So first, I started framing out the walls by cutting all of my 2x4s to length. I went ahead and invested in a framing nailer, and it's definitely my new favorite tool. <laughs> I love new toys. I made sure to use a treated 2x4 for the bottom plate, and then an untreated 2x4 for the top seal. For the header, I used two 2x4s and a piece of half-inch material sandwiched in between it. I attached the pieces permanently by using screws on both sides. I rested the header on top of the jack studs just to make sure that everything was going to fit. And then I started attaching it, first by attaching the jack studs to the king studs, then coming back and toenailing in the header to the jack studs. After that was in place, I went ahead and added two cripple studs. All right, that is one wall down and two to go. The two side walls were a lot simpler than that front wall uh, because they were just a bunch of king studs, a top seal, and a bottom plate. Again, the bottom plate's made out of a treated 2x4, and I started off with attaching it first. However, when I went to put the wall in place, I realized I forgot to compensate for the slab being slightly recessed. Turn it. So I used a hammer to detach the bottom plate and then just move that very back stud in slightly to make up for that offset and then reattached it. Now the wall fit very snug and I went ahead and attached the top plate with the wall in place. Next I started attaching the walls to the concrete. I would first use a regular drill bit to drill through the wood, then use a masonry bit to drill down into the concrete. Now, I know that this looks like a regular drill, but it actually has a hammer drill setting on it, which I used during this step. There's a link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. I cleaned out the hole and then hammered in a wedge anchor, using an impact to tighten it down. Next, I repeated the steps to attach all the walls. I used two wedge anchors per wall. People are always telling me you don't need more than one drill, which you don't, but it sure is convenient if you do. With the walls attached to the concrete, I started attaching them to each other. Then, of course, I also attached it to my building. If I would have thought this through a little bit, I should have attached this wall first, but I was still able to get it in there and get it fit into place. I repeated the same steps, first attaching it to the concrete, then attaching it to the front wall, then attaching it to the building. Okay, next was to start framing out the roof. So I cut a 2x4 to length and then nailed it in place, making sure that it lined up with both of the outside walls and that it was level. I also made sure that I was nailing it to the studs here. Now I know that there's formulas on how to figure out your pitch and your angles, but I just cheated and I held my board in place and just traced out the angles so that I was able to come back with my circular saw and just cut along my lines. And once I had the first one cut, I used it to trace out all of the others I'll need. I set them in place and started toenailing them into place. I used three nails in the front and then two attaching it to the back. The next day I went ahead and added two, I guess maybe they're called cripple studs here as well, two cripple studs on either side just to give it some more support. With the framing done, it was onto the siding and a friend had given me four sheets of masonite siding last summer that I've just been holding on to. So even though the colors aren't exactly the same, I decided to use it. And what I would do is measure my wall, cut it down to the size needed, and then just nail it into place. It's actually a quick process until I got to that back right wall. So eventually I plan to tear down this staircase because I'm gonna have to rebuild it. 
but in the meantime, it is very much in my way. It took a lot of fiddling and finagling in order to get this side into place, but eventually I got it weaseled in there. I attached it just like the rest and then was able to finish out the front. For these top triangle pieces, again, I just cheated. I would set the board in place and then use a pencil to trace out that line. Then use my circular saw to cut it down and then my nailer to attach it. I thought that was a pretty good stopping point, so I went ahead and called it quits. Oh, what a learning experience. Now, of course, I still have tons to do, but we are expecting a lot of rain in the next few days. So I'm gonna throw a tarp over the top and then just uh, let it sit until it passes. Uh, so stay tuned for me finishing this. Now, of course, I would love to hear y'all's tips and tricks and suggestions, but do keep in mind that I don't have any training whatsoever. This Doing stuff like this is exactly how I learn. I figure out what I wanna build and then I figure out how to do it. So I learn from my experience and then I do better next time. So I know that this didn't come out perfect, but I'm really still excited about where I am, where I am so far. So stay tuned for future parts and I will see you soon.